Choice of Entity, Taxation of Star of Losses, Problem 2. Jalapeno and Habanero organized a new business as an LLC in which they own equal interests. The new business generated a $7,000 operating loss for the year. If Jalapeno's marginal tax rate before consideration of the LLC loss is 35%, compute his tax savings from the first year LLC loss. Assume the basis, excess business loss limitations, and other loss limitations do not apply. So this question is real simple, real easy. Just the key is just taking your time, going through the problem, making sure you read all the facts, all the information, and just remembering how losses are treated in terms of different business entities. These choice of entity problems are meant to consider different pass-through entities versus C corporations with a lot of regard, as well as also tax issues within certain pass-through entities like a S corporation versus a partnership. So you've got two partners and it's an LLC. So if you have two, or sorry, two owners, two members, right? Two, two members. So the LLC, which LLC, where you have more than one owner, the default rule, unless you're told otherwise in the problem, is that it's going to be treated as a partnership. So we use a triangle to denote partnership. That LLC is owned by Jalapeno, which is an individual. I'm just going to put J for Jalapeno, put a circle there. And then we've got Habanero, which is the other individual. Both own 50%. They both own 50% of the LLC. Okay. All the questions asking us to do is what is, it's specifically asking what is the amount, compute the tax savings for jalapeno, just jalapeno, compute his tax savings. If jalapeno's marginal rate before consideration is 35%, what is the tax benefit of the loss? Now it's important to remember that pass through entities, which include sole proprietorship, partnerships, and S corporations, well, here we have an LLC, so LLC is taxed as a partnership, so that's going to equal partnership. Again, more than one member. If it was just one member, it would be a single-member LLC, disregarded entity, treated just like a, like a uh, sole proprietorship for tax purposes. If you have more than one owner and there's nothing told in the facts, the default is that's a partnership. Well, pass-through entities like partnerships, you get to pass through the losses. If we were dealing with an a C corporation, which this is not a C corporation, you cannot pass through the losses to the owners. Basically, the loss continues with the business. So because we have the pass through of the loss to the owners here from LLC, which we're told is a $7,000 operating loss, the question is how much of that $7,000 operating loss goes to Jalapeno? We're focusing on that. Now, the facts also tell us to ignore any basis excess business loss or other limitations like code section 465 at risk rules or 469 passive activity loss rules. We basically ignore the loss limitations because even though a loss might be, might pass through to an owner, there might be a limitation that doesn't allow them to take it and has to carry over for certain reasons or whatnot. So it's assuming it's saying, don't even worry about that. So all we have to do here is just remember those rules that a pass through entity, you can carry over losses like an LLC tax as a partnership. So jalapeno, we just take the $7,000 loss, I'll put it now as a negative in brackets, multiply that by jalapeno's percentage, 50%, and the answer here, jalapeno's share of that $7,000 loss is $3,500, and that is the answer. So $3,500 loss, that is the answer. Now again, the problem says to assume that the, the loss limitations do not apply, but in practice, they would, you have to go through all that, the basis limitation, excess business loss, uh, at risk limitations, passive activity. But if it says not to worry about loss limitations, that's the answer, $3,500.